Cancer, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Cancer, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will use Oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on. Right now, universe is telling you there's just a little bit of resistance that has to get cleared. You got the nine of swords, you got the devil. Universe is telling you how you do anything is how you do everything. So right now, there is an energy block that has to get cleared. And you do this by putting the past behind you. The past is beyond your control. When you clear this energy, now you're inviting your angels in your life to help and guide you. And that is your next move. Your life is going to get so much easier. Money, love, health, it'll all come so easy when you clear this energy. So all you have to do is remember, you don't control the past. The past is a mirage. What happens is when you think of the past, that familiar energy, you get stuck there. In the past is a timeline where your angels and guides are not able to intervene through synchronicities, hints, clues, interactions. They can't do nothing. So they're just waiting for you. So right now, I'll show you one trick. In order for you to leave the past, all you have to do is bring your awareness to the present by naming things you see. Say if you're going for a walk, all of a sudden your mind wanders to the past. I had this, I lost this, oh, I had to, things were going so good. Immediately be aware, be like, uh-oh, here I go again. And at that point, be like, start naming things. Be like, okay, tree, duck, guy in a car, dog, you know, guy wearing a blue shirt, clouds. When you start doing that, your point of attraction gets back to the present. You can do this again at work, right? Imagine your mind wanders, say, to the past or predictable future. Instead, start naming things. Be like, okay, computer, desk, water cooler, you know, uh, woman wearing a dress, anything. Start naming things. And by seeing the bigger picture, now your angels can actually intervene in your life. And now the answers that you're looking for are all going to be coming. Like right now, the ah moments of clarity. How do I get a promotion? How do I start a business? How do I win the lottery? How do I meet my soulmate? All of those answers will come into your life. But your angels are telling you, you got to know your worth and you got to know how to play this game. This is so, so important. Now you got justice. And you also have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is the universe rewarding you something big financially, something that will be like generational wealth that will be paying dividends down the road. Right now, the universe is telling you in order for this to happen, your frequency has to match the energy of wealth, which means responding and not reacting. Respond, don't react. Every time you react to a situation, you give your power away, right? Whenever you respond, you gain power. I'll give you an example. Imagine you go to work, your coworker says, hey, that dress you're wearing doesn't flatter you. Immediately, your reaction is, what the heck? Why would you possibly say that? That's so rude. You gave your power away. But instead, if you strategically responded, you would gain power. So I'll give you an example. Imagine they said that. I would tell myself, hold up. Why did they say this? Clearly, they're unhappy with the way they look. They're, they're projecting that onto you. Okay, what do they want from me? They want to get a rise out of me so they feel better. Okay, what do I do? Well, auto war Sun Tzu, do the opposite of what your enemy wants. If they want me to, to, me to get upset, rather than that, I'm going to give them a compliment. So I'd be like, you know what? No problem. You look very pretty in your dress and I would walk away. And that is how you dream the world into being, right? That is how you take control. And this is how you regain your point of attraction and regain your power. Now, you got the hangman and you also got the ten of cups. Big opportunities are happening for you right now. Love, happiness, joy, freedom, wealth. It's all intertwined. All of this takes place when you find joy in the simple things, right? By finding joy in the simple things, you're just accumulating good karma. That's all it is. And once you get to a certain level of good karma, now you ascend to the next level of vibration, which is luck and fortune. So right now, the universe is telling you to claim your independence, for example, and find joy in the simple things in life, which really means... When you are washing the dishes, throw on some headphones and be like, wow, you know, I'm going to listen to a podcast. Or when you're grabbing a coffee rather than rush in and rush out, tell yourself, I deserve 30 seconds to sit here and enjoy a sip. But by finding joy in the simple things in your life, you're quickly going to realize, wow, I'm just banking in good karma and now abundance flows to you rather than you looking for it. All right, this is so good. Look at this. You have the king of 
swords and you also had the queen of cups so right now you're being told to accept the rhythm of life when you are accepting the rhythm of life when you're going with the flow you're going to be shown exactly what to do because i do see here a major financial opportunity for you but you have to first and foremost let go in order to accept the rhythm of life let go of trying to control things you don't have control over right now listen to your intuition i'll give an example i have a friend that came up to me and said vince i want to make you know money following my passion i said what is your passion as a joke he said i like to eat chips ha 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 i told him great type in asmr chips on youtube you'll see people eating chips making money he typed it in he's seeing people that makes hundreds of thousands of dollars a year making uh making money eating chips on YouTube. So now he has an ASMR chip channel. He literally eats chips on camera and gets paid hundreds of thousands of dollars, guys. Where am I going with this? You can monetize any passion. If you would have told me you'd be making money doing tarot reads on YouTube, if he told me I'd be making money you know, selling pet supplements, if he told me I'd be making money day trading, I would have laughed. But here we are, I monetized every single one of those passion. And if you can monetize eating chips, you can monetize anything. And right now, universe is telling you to think on your feet, which means listen to your intuition and ask yourself what is working what is not because you need courage courage is the gateway to freedom and to trust your intuition takes courage so right now trust yourself have the courage to ask yourself what are you passionate about and know that you can monetize it trust me that's actually that's the second stage of the game first stage is what do you love doing now you got the page of swords and page of pentacles page means new right so there's new opportunities of wealth coming into your life and source is telling you in order for this to happen simplicity is the key to a tranquil life keep it simple like for example the guy eating chips on youtube that is the most simple thing on the planet right for me like selling pet supplements on on amazon super super simple i grab pet supplements i put it into a package i sell it on amazon super simple it may seem complicated but that's only because fear is making it seem complicated right now you got to be fearless and bold you got to trust yourself badger spirit it all comes to this you trust yourself by detaching from the external outcome external event and instead learning to love the journey or the process process i'll give an example my friend that started that chip channel on youtube he didn't go around telling himself i better make a million dollars a year eating chips he said i can't believe i get to even like eat chips and make money right so there was no outcome attached next thing you know he's doing very well for himself and that's what's going on it all starts with be here now be in the present moment and then follow your passion so ask yourself what is your passion what would you do if you had a hundred million dollars cash and you could do anything in this world, right? Like my friend loves eating chips. Like I love dogs, pet supplements. I love charts, day trading. I love angels and guides, tarot, right? So what do you love? Do you like drawing, singing, dancing, art? Do you like, you know, puzzles, figuring stuff out? Do you like businesses? What do you like? Do you like being a star? So many things you could do, right? But you gotta first and foremost ask yourself what it is you love and then monetize it. All right, Cancer, now time for your affirmation. Write the following words in the comment section exactly as you see. And right now, by doing so, you're quantum entangling with abundance. Write this down in the comment section. I get what I focus on. By writing this down, you're telling the universe, I have learned this lesson. I understand that I am co-creator of my own reality and I breathe life into anything I put my attention to. I get what I focus on. Write that down in the comment section. Let the universe know you've learned this lesson. You no longer need to learn this lesson and to bring you new possibilities and opportunities. I get what I focus on. Write this down in the comment section and give this video a like and let the universe know that you are ready for abundance, which is actually your birthright, right? You don't need to ask permission for it. You need to take possession of it. All right, now final message from the universe. Yeehaw, look at that. Universe got jokes. And the message is, when it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend valuing their yeehaw quality above all. Have it your way. Special orders don't upset us, the universe. What is the universe telling you? The universe is telling you that everyone has this trait about them that is really something very attractive, approachable, and likable. And right now to focus on that, don't worry about what they don't, what they aren't good at. Focus on what they are good at, right? Because everyone, again, has something they bring to the table. Maybe it's their smile. Maybe it's their energy. Maybe it's their vast knowledge. Maybe it's their expertise. But whatever, you know, sometimes through comparison and judgment, we always try to see something that someone's not good at. But at the end of the day, it's the only thing that they are good at that matters. And right now, that, that what excites you about someone? What makes you laugh? What makes you smile? You know, whenever you look at it, look, think of that person and you look at that one trait that raises your vibration, that right there is enough for you to be able to give them your undivided attention and you will be pleasantly surprised by doing so what you will get out of it, which is absolutely everything. 
All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.